Okay, hi everybody. So in this little video here, we're going to solve x squared greater than 25. Where is that true? Um, so one way that we might do this is to bring that 25 over to the left-hand side. So that's hanging out with the x squared there. And then I know that this is a quadratic. I know it's a quadratic that opens upwards. I can tell by the, the expression there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor it to see if I can find the x-intercepts. And this one factors quite nicely because it's a difference of squares. So I know that what I'm looking at here, if I look at my x-axis here, I'm going to get uh, back here at negative 5, over here at positive 5. This is a parabola that opens upwards, so it's going to look something like this. Okay, and I'm interested in where this is greater than 0. Not, not or equal to 0 but greater than zero. So that's going to occur, okay, in quadrants one and two, not in quadrants three or four. The down here, this is, this is not going to satisfy that, that inequality there. So normally I would look right at that negative five and that positive five to start off with, but, if, but at five and negative five, x squared is equal to 25. And actually notice from the expression here, we are not including a value of 25, which means x really can't equal plus or minus 5. So I'm not going to include those. But values bigger than 5 or values that less than negative 25 will in fact work. So what I'm looking for here are values where x is less than negative 5 together with values that are greater than, whoops, greater than 5. There's a few different ways I can write that, but what I might do is use interval notation negative infinity up to negative 5, not including the negative 5, together with union, the set of values 5 out to infinity. That actually makes a lot of sense too, because if you look at our number line here, 0, let's say negative 5 here, positive 5 here, whatever. Um, what's happening here is if you pick values, okay, if you pick values for x in between negative 5 and 5, the square of that value is going to be less than 25. You pick negative 2, eh, you're going to get 4. You pick a uh, positive uh, 4, you're going to get uh, 16 here. Those values are, are less than 25. But if you pick a value over here, let's say negative 6, well, you'll get 36, positive 36. That's greater than 25. Over here, you pick 8, that's 64. That's greater than 25. And so that makes sense. Our values here are going to be uh, that, that are acceptable here are going to be less than negative 5 and values that are greater than positive 5. 